right y'all welcome back in the shed it is tuesday evening it's like 10 30 p.m i've gotten out here really late because i've spent a lot of time tonight um folding up bagging putting in totes all the bike week shirts that we bought in that large uh, lot of 300 so i'm gonna be really quick and go through these items that sold today we have uh, one item over on amazon and it is some facial cleanser and I don't recognize his name. I just happened to stumble across this in Walmart a while back. And I bought, I don't know, 20 or so bottles of this or tubes of this, I should say. And I don't even know how you say the name. It's A-L-A-F-F-I-A. -F -F you can see it was $13.98 and I paid $2 for it. And, and it sold over on uh, Amazon for $13.89. It will ship really cheap. Um, next up, I have two items over on Macari, and one of them is this one right here, and I'd have, I'd have to go back and look on eBay, because it doesn't show me up here, because I think I paid 99 cent for this thing, um, and it sold for $20 with free shipping over on Macari, and my other item on Macari is a VHS and this is not a sealed new VHS this is a pre-owned used VHS and and I have oh gosh I don't even know I have like 50 cent or less in this thing I bought this in a large lot of VHS a while back and it is Stephen King's Children of the Corn um, you know old horror films sell pretty good um, and that's a pretty popular one but it sold for seven dollars with free shipping it's going to ship out for a little just over three bucks and like i said i got like 50 cent or less in it um the rest of our orders are over on ebay and i sold a necktie i have like a quarter in this necktie um i pick a lot of ties up at our local thrift store when they mark them down from a dollar to a quarter now sometimes if they're nice enough tie i'll buy it for a quarter but this one has gumby on it and i you know i thought when i saw it i was like i don't even have to look it up it's a quarter somebody's going to buy it and they did and they paid twelve dollars and 99 cent for that and it's going to cost like three dollars to ship it that's a great little flip right there next up we sold a shirt a shirt that um i just picked up I just picked this up last week on like it was like thursday or friday i can't remember what day my wife and i went on our lunch break to our local thrift store and she picked this up and i don't remember what it was i think it was like six dollars but everything was half off um and i i did not put it in there but i'm pretty sure that was six dollars it'll be in another video at some time because <laughs> I, ju I just put it up on youtube but it's not going to come out for a few days but i'm pretty sure that was mark six half off so it was three dollars and it is a peter millar summer comfort striped polo and the course on it is pine needles and and it sold for $28.25 with free shipping. Our last item for today. This is another one of those shirts that I picked up on Whatnot. I keep talking about Whatnot because I find really good deals up there. Um, this shirt right here is on an m o Knits heavyweight tag. It is a size medium. Um, mediums don't always sell well but mediums tend to sell pretty good in women's sizes in men's sizes not so much but this is a share it's one of her tours i can't remember what it is but it is um it's her fair her farewell uh concert tour um and like i said it is a medium and i i paid up a little bit for that shirt I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I think I paid like six bucks for it. So six bucks plus a dollar shipping. I'm in it for seven. It sold for $24.93 with free shipping. Um, that's a pretty popular shirt if you get a hold of it. <clears throat> and 
that's our items for today sorry i had to be really fast but i want to get this stuff packaged up and get it out of here tomorrow i try not to ship but so much stuff every day because i don't want to load my mail carrier down i'd rather give her four or five packages a day than wait three days and do 15 packages at one time so uh, hopefully y'all saw something in there that you can look for at a thrift store or yard sale and then you can resell it and make yourself some side money and y'all i gotta go so, well hey y'all welcome back in the shed it is wednesday night it's almost 8 30 p.m i'm gonna go ahead and i've already pulled the orders well technically my wife pulled all the orders except for one <clears throat> um and we have a few sales over on ebay and we have one sale over on amazon but it's actually a multiple quantity sale and uh, three items were bought by that person. So I'm going to start off though with an item that sold um, last night well, while we were sleeping. So it sold overnight and it is, I'll put it up somewhere up here, but it's a direct TV, um, like an internet adapter for direct TV and it sold for $12.99. Now, I picked that up when I picked up my large lot of VHS and stuff. Um, spent $80 with those folks, and I don't know. I got a bunch of direct TV stuff that was, like, brand new from them. And I've sold a couple things. Um, I, I would say that I probably have maybe $2 or I don't even know if I have two dollars in this thing. Once you count the sixty or so VHS and the other ten or so items I got from them, I paid eighty bucks. I might be into everything for a dollar or a little over a dollar. But that's what sold um, last night while we were sleeping. Um, and here's the other stuff that sold today. Now there's four four items here. Well, I should say five items. There's four orders. But these guys right here, I picked up, I picked these up when we were in uh, Daytona Beach at a thrift store that we went to. And I'll show you, which is it's made by Action Tech. The model number is ECB6200. And this is also very similar to that Direct TV product as it's, a, it's like an Ethernet adapter that hooks in with your uh, cable TV. And there's two of them. The same person bought both of those, which saves me some money on shipping, and I'm happy about that. Now, I cannot remember if I paid $3.99 a piece or $4.99 a piece for these, but um, they do they do power up. Um, there's no power supply or anything like that, but they sold for $88, and so the buyer's all in. That was for free shipping. The buyer is all in for $93.72. And if we say I have $5 in each one, I got $10 in it. They paid $88. And I think that's going to ship out at a first class rate. Yep. Uh, 10 ounces. So I can definitely get that out of here for like $5 or less for shipping. So that was a great sale right there. Um, next up is an item that I picked up. Um, when we were at the cabins, we went to a uh, we went to a large yard sale in I believe it was Ruckersville, I think that was the name of it, where I picked up a uh, a Levi's denim jacket there, and I also picked up this clipboard. It's like a medical clipboard, you know. Somebody can, ooh, that was loud. You know, it, it folds out to be a regular clipboard. It's aluminum. It's very light, but it also has a chart on it on the back and on the front. And it's just like a, a nurse's, I guess, a nurse's thing they would put in their pocket. But, or a doctor, I guess, doctor, nurse. I don't know anything about the, those professions. But I do know that I got an awesome deal at that place. Um, we filled up a, a large bag out there for $11. I couldn't believe the prices that guy was giving out. They were awesome prices. And that piece right there sold for 11.85 and the buyers paying shipping they're all in for 19.80 so all those items if you watch that ruckersville yard sale video all of those items just got paid for by that one clipboard right there so that that's awesome and that denim jacket i'm probably gonna get at least 50 dollars for that so that's gonna be nothing but profit um next up we sold a modem it's not a 
it's not a high-end modem or anything it's a it's a one of those Aris surfboards um it's sb6183 and i picked that up for like three dollars i think it was oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i picked it up for a dollar I, I have it in there as a dollar i don't even remember where i got that thing but it does power up um it's putting out a wi-fi signal so it's good it sold for $17.69 with free shipping. And let's see what this thing weighs. It weighs almost almost 14 ounces. I might, I might get that one out of here first class, but we'll see. Either way, I got a dollar in it. Can't help but make money off of it. Now, this next one, I'm not sure what we paid for this. Uh, my wife picked this one up and it's a i've never heard of it it says buzz off insect shield insect repellent apparel from x ex, ex officio i don't know this is a size large apparently this thing is supposed to help keep mosquitoes and stuff off of you i don't know but it sold for 14 dollars and 24 cent um and the buyer paid shipping on it they're all in for 2014 I don't know exactly what my wife paid. I'll have to ask her <laughs> or she'll have to uh, put a comment down below. Now, the last thing we have is over on Amazon. And like I said, um, this one this one buyer bought three of these. And I just sold one of these yesterday. So apparently, whoever was selling these things cheaper um, ran out. That's the only thing I can, I can figure. They ran out because the buy box was low. Um, I maintain my price and if you ever sell on Amazon, I guess I do need to talk to you about that um, You can go on Amazon and some days an item is selling for $19.99 and a couple days later you might see that same item same listing for $22.99 and what is happening there is Somebody goes up there and they price it lower well, Amazon sees that they can sell it to people lower, so they lower the price on it. Well, once that person runs out of all those at a lower price, well, the next person up gets to sell their item. So my guess is these things I've had for a couple months and none of them have sold. So I sold one yesterday and now I sold three to one person a day. So I'm assuming I'm on the buy box. And the bad thing is I think I only had four of them. So... <laughs> I wish I would have found a lot more of these. I picked them up at um, at a Walmart, really cheap, and they sold for $13.89 each. And there it is right there. I'll spell it again. I spelled it before, A-L-A-F-F-I-A. -F -F -I, um, I was just shooting a video last night and I sold one of these. It's uh, coconut, I have no idea how you say that, that word. Rishi, Rishi, Rishi. I, I don't have no idea. All I know is I made money off of them because I paid the shipping on that. The customer doesn't pay any shipping, so if they buy three of them, I get to save money on shipping. You know, if, if I sent each one out individually, it would cost me like five dollars to ship each one of them. Well, they weigh eleven point one ounces. I'm gonna put them in a little box and I'm gonna ship them out first class and it's probably going to cost me five or six dollars to ship it so i just saved myself ten dollars by that one per or that person saved me ten dollars by buying all of them from me so 13.89 so 14 what's 14 times three y'all i don't know <laughs> it's it's uh no i don't know i'm trying to do math and i can't it's like 42 dollars or something like that but anyways i think that was a great deal um <laughs> i wish i would have picked up more of them i do have i do have some like it but i can't remember the name of them but they have a green line across here totally totally different fragrance i'm sure is what it is so y'all that's what we sold on wednesday and we'd like to sell some more tonight i was hoping we would sell another one of those uh bike shirts that i picked up you know that huge lot of 300 um i'm hoping those things are going to take off but if they don't i'll sell a little bit by little bit and 
I listed a lot more of those on uh, Mercari and Poshmark today. Um, if I get some free time at work, that's what I do. I go over to the computer and I just go up there on my uh, flip cross lister and I just grab stuff from eBay and put it over there on Mercari and put it over there on, um, on Poshmark and just i mean i'm just letting more people see my items so maybe i can get more sales um i got a question for y'all before i go um leave down in the comments tell me how many of you out there are watching this to learn how you can resell or how many of you out there are already reselling but maybe you're just looking to see what i sell so you know what to look for